Never mind. Let's just pretend that didn't happen, guys. <laughs> I didn't go try to make a cool point and fail horribly. So we can dump that. Dump that for now. Take this, because I'm going to use it. Take the magnum bullets, because I'm going to put them in my inventory anyway. Hmm. I don't really know how much space I need. Uh, kind of thinking I should dump this. I might as well combine this now. Because usually you want to wait till you're out of ammo to combine it because it fills up your ammo, but I think it's going to come down to whether or not I carry another health item or whether I save two shots of magnum bullets, and I think it's more important to have a health item. So this is the custom magnum. Kind of looks silly. but it's the most powerful weapon in the game. So it's like the rocket launcher, I guess. And the Gatling gun. But those don't really count, so. So we still need to go get those magnum bullets off the table. And we need to see what's in that other room. All employees, repeat to the bottom platform. <laughs> Shaft. Let's get these bullets. Yes, I will. I wonder what my time in this game is. I've never really done a speed run. Huh. That's interesting. That must just be a B-game thing. Like when you come back for the second playthrough. I could have sworn you opened that, though. Hmm. Leon. I've been waiting for you, Leon. Bitch. What are you doing? You do know what this is about, so just hand over the G-Virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. That's why I told you to leave without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't do that. Oh, shit. See, Leon, you should have took her gun, but no. You had to be a little bitch. Oh, gee, virus. Come on, Leon. Cliffhanger that shit. Bring her up. Oh god. Well, you know she did. Now this actually isn't canon with the story. Uh, I was doing some research. Well, I mean, and it's kind of common. It's kind of common sense too if you played the other Resident Evil games. But the real way to play Resident Evil 2, and the way I probably should have done the Let's Play of it, 
is do the A game or your first run through with Claire, or with Claire this is what everyone's been dying for. and play the B game with Leon. And that's what's actually canon to the Resident Evil storyline. Because, uh... Because in the Leon's B game, I don't think she falls off the edge. I think she just kind of... She just gets hurt and she dies and she just lays there. And then Leon leaves. And she, you know, if, if you've played Resident Evil 4, you know that, you know, Ada ends up surviving, so. But I don't think I'm actually going to do a B game run through this game, just because it's mostly the same thing. I mean, there are some differences, but. Ah, you twat. But for the most part, it's pretty similar. Like the, god damn, the puzzles are mostly the same. Let's see if I can dodge these guys. So I don't really want to be spending my last shotgun shells on them. And I'm gonna go up here and get to the save save box and everything. So I can get the rest of my healing items. Oh shit. Sorry about that. Repeat to the bottom platform. So this is it. This is basically the end of the game. take as many herbs as I can carry. I actually probably should have used that ammo disc. Okay. That should be enough. the end of the game basically. I just got the last boss to fight. Look at that zombie's face, man. That's creepy. Alright, here we go. Five minutes until detonation. I don't know why whenever the screen shakes like that, it's just... The characters and models cut out. Don't know why that is. Of course. Couldn't just let us go. Wow, really? That was kind of easy. But it actually gets tougher at this point. Yeah, I just forgot how powerful this custom handgun really was. It's a beast. Probably gonna get hit here. Well, maybe not. I like to stay in this area because it's the only real place you can see him. Unless he comes out like that, I was just about to say. <laughs> Still fine though. 